What's up everybody, it's Paul C from WP Tuts and I just want to say first of all, happy 2020. I'm a little bit late, but I hope you're having a fantastic year so far and excited for what 2020 can bring for you. What I want to do in this video is give you a little bit of an insight into what I'm looking to do in 2020 and to get your feedback on the ideas to let me know if I'm going down a direction you think is going to be useful for you or if you think I'm way off the mark let me know once you've seen this video. I'd love to get all of your feedback in the comment section below. So please be open and honest about everything I cover in this video. Now, first of all, I just want to say that I think 2020 has some really exciting plans for the way that the WP Touch channel is going to go. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm super excited about some collaborations that hopefully will pan out in 2020. These are some things that I've been looking forward to trying to get into place for quite some time. Not only are those collaborations going to be really useful in how we're going to present some content for you, but also we've got some completely new formats that we're taking a look at trying out and seeing how you, as the WP community, kind of feedback to what we put together on there. So keep your eye on the channel throughout 2020 because there's some super exciting things coming when it comes to collaborations and new directions. Now speaking of new directions, one of the things that I really want to focus on is up until the sort of halfway through 2019, most of the content I was putting out was general WordPress content, things like Elementor and different themes and things like that. Now that's quite useful, but it's also something that is very, very well served throughout the YouTube channels when it comes to WordPress. So we focused the last half of 2019 on more dynamic content, more advanced content to take your skills to the next level. Had some fantastic feedback on that. And this is something that I have no intention of stopping, more a case of expanding that. So let me just give you the idea that I've got and please tell me at the end of this if you think this has legs, if you think this is the direction that you would like to see the channel go in and the content you would really like to consume. So taking that concept of advanced custom fields and making a more sustainable business, I want to take you through projects. So an entire life cycle. So you'll ha start off with a brief, which you can download yourself and take a look at. So you could, if you wanted to, use that as the basis of some practice for yourself. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that brief, we're gonna get all the collateral that goes with it for a particular client. So we'll have things like their logo, their color schemes, their fonts, any branding and things like that they currently have to make sure that what we put together from this design brief is going to be consistent with their brand. We're gonna then take all of that information and we're gonna create an entire website. So we're gonna take that brief and we're gonna build that website as if the client was paying us money to make sure that we ended up with a result that they really, really wanted, that promotes their business in the way that they want and represents their business to the highest caliber. So when we're taking a look at that, this would be entire life cycle. So when we've got that brief, we've got all the collateral in place, we'll then take the tools that we need, depending upon what the brief specifies that it needs. So we could be using tools like advanced custom fields, toolkit, tool set, always get that one wrong, pods, any of those kinds of tools, Elementor, any kind of page builders or WordPress on its own. We're just gonna take the tools that we need to create these end results. So that'll then take you through the entire process. So that could involve those tools alongside things like Photoshop, Affinity Designer, those kinds of tools. Also utilizing online services where we can pull assets, things like stock photography. We can do things like Envato Elements, which has tons of useful resources. And it's a site that I use pretty much every day. So we'll take all those as if we're working with a client to create that end result. And then finally, we would offload that to the client. So I want to take you through the entire life cycle, showing you problems along the way, showing you how you find solutions for those and how you ultimately provide the client with an end result that they are super proud of and also you're super proud of. Now, why do I want to do that? Because ultimately, whether you're in a position where you're a freelancer, you're starting out as a freelancer or you want to become a freelancer or set up a small design agency, you will have all of the skills that you need to be able to confidently and competently deliver on those promises you make to clients. So at this point in time, you may be just starting out, you may be getting your feet wet, you may be in it for a little while, but there's a lot of things you have to do as a solo business owner. You have to be the accountant, you have to be the front facing, you have to be the tech support, the designer, the developer, all of those things. And these are skills that I've been building up over the last 15 years and all the different pitfalls, all the different 
benefits, the tools, all the little things that I've picked up over that period of time, and I'm still picking up from people like yourselves, I wanna share that with you, and I wanna show you how you can combine those skills, combine those tools, build up your experience, and build up your confidence to ultimately make a lot more money and have a successful WordPress or web design business, whatever kind of thing you want to do, moving forward through 2020 and beyond. So that's kind of the direction I want to go in in 2020. Am I still gonna cover some of the other things, like when we take a look at a new product or something I think is useful to you? Absolutely but the core foundation of what I want 2020 to be is about helping you become a much more successful web designer using the tools that we have at our disposal and ultimately, like I say, making your confidence level go up and your skills and what you can deliver to clients much, much higher than what they may be right now. So please let me know, is this something you think is of interest to you? Am I on the right track? Am I way off base? Let me know in the comment section below because your feedback is massively important to me and it is and will always help shape the way that WP Tuts moves forward 2020 and way beyond. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and I can't wait to hear what you've got to say about my ideas for 2020. Until next time, take care.